What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Always a pleasure to be rocking and roll for all you beautiful souls around the globe. We've got some Adam Calhoun back on the channel. I know you guys have been waiting a minute to hear some more Adam. We've got some Adam right now going down. This just dropped hours ago, so I'm on it. Small Town official music video. Adam is one of my guys, as you guys know. Freaking, I can't wait to see what he's got to say. So, without further ado, for me and all of you, Adam Calhoun, Small Town official music video. Let's get it. to do my bitch and get your ass about the fucking living room ride down main street drive slow bass loud my bitch hates me i like to get around back of my truck don't squat but my bitch does you know what they say little dick big truck let you talk about us throw fist big nuts we just work our ass off we don't bitch too much ain't nobody <laughs> rapping like me in this lane if you say they all point them out let me take aim i didn't come to make friends boy i came to change a game it don't even make Ooh. sense why you all sound the same Ooh. it's going Ooh, hey, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying there? He ain't here to make any friends. Man, he's just here to change the game, man. That's all he's up, that's all he's doing, to keep it 100, ain't afraid to do hard work, to be hard working at, to get there, you know, to achieve that goal. That's what I'm talking about. Man, something about small town mentality too, man. Like, I've noticed, like, people... You know, they're used to, to having to freaking just put in the wrench time and, and they're not afraid to do so, you know. I'm, I'm, there's like a mentality, you know, like I notice a lot of people who grow up in small towns, they have this different just focus, laser-like focus, and their mentality is different. They're up at 4 or 5 in the morning already when everyone else is still sleeping in small towns and they're the last ones to go to bed at night too. They're eating dinner at freaking, you know, nine at night because they still been on the land all day and doing whatnot. But yo, oh man, respect. Let's keep going. Let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. Go ahead. Every light pole got a flag hanging on the side Every truck riding by got a pistol or a rifle inside With a white boy ready to die We don't do drive-bys, we get out and shoot I don't rob you for your shoes cause I'd rather wear boots Work my whole life just to get this little roof You gon' do what to who I need to see proof You ain't doing shit except for actually hating Friday night we out late at the gas station Trucks pull up like bars and high beams You gon' need an army if you gon' wanna try me It's going down, me me in the Guaranteed if you're born here you probably won't leave Everybody knows your business, every little thing Got them small town dreams like the homecoming king Best days of your life, Friday night lights Playing high school ball, talk shit, let's fight Next day in the hall, dress fly, high five Went from that to real life, real fast, time flies Now you work like a dog for your high school sweetheart Job don't pay shit, put food in the freezer Have a few kids, hope they get past where we are Old man in town drinking at the only bar It's going down, meet me in the Okay, okay, Adam. Okay, fine. We won't go visit your town. <laughs> Yo, Adam, Adam, uh, man, just basically, you know, expressed his feelings in this song and how he's feeling. He got that small town love, love for where he's from, his neighborhood. I think that's like that anywhere, though, man. Like, you know, if you're in, you, if you've got your neighborhood, your community, your little freaking neck of the woods, and you're there doing your own thing, minding your own business. The last thing you want is just people from 
out of town from out of nowhere just coming up in your joint and being your business you know it's like dude why are you even here this is our neighborhood this is our community what what are you doing like i totally get that i understand i understand i i, I understand i get it i get it but 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 I do have a butt. I do have a butt. I know. I got a butt. But I will say this. I will say this. Like, I think it's so important, especially in 2021. I do believe, I do believe that it's important that we do attempt to be more open, you know, just our whole country. I, th I think, I think half of the problem is there's still places a bit closed down. You know what I mean? Like, I think we need to to be a bit more open because there's a lot of communities like that. I mean, you go up to New York and like New York has like literally blocks where it's like this block here is all the Hispanics. This block here is all the blacks. This block here is so-and-so's gang or this is that and what another. And this is, the what, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so split. And um, around the states, like there are pockets of areas where it's like that. Now, you know, I personally, <laughs> I'm all about the bringing people together thing, man. So I'm all about like, you know, let us be, I mean, on one sense, I totally understand like, hey, man, look, this is this is our neck of the woods, man, what you're doing here. But on the same token, I also believe it's important that we can have our door open, you know, and be hospitable. And I'm not no, I'm, I'm not really taking if that's what he's he's saying here i mean he could very much just on the flip side metaphorically be speaking and being like hey look um this is our small town like this is how we view the world or think our thoughts or how we feel how we express ourselves like we're doing our thing down here like freedom of speech freedom to live the way we want to live freedom to be who we want to be that kind of mentality you know what i mean like it could be more metaphoric as opposed to like hey that border right here don't cross that line like i don't you know it's it it's depends your perspective how you look at this because you know he might not be talking about literally like hey we if we could build a wall and keep everyone else out of our town we would do it like i don't think that's what he's saying i think it's more metaphoric you know like just more of a you know hey look man we're just down here just living our lives you know and if you don't like how we live um our you know like then why are you even here anyways? Like, get out of our town. Like, you know, I don't know. You know, I guess it could be open to interpretation. I mean, Adam is the only one who really knows what he means throughout the whole song. But, you know, you, you, you got to kind of also take it for a bit of face value, you know. I mean, th this this time, the country is, is weird. There is a bit of division. There, there is. There is. You know, it's a, it's a crazy time. Um, probably always been there. So, I mean, it's not even like a new thing. I mean, it's something that's already existed. But, you know, lately it feels like there's probably maybe perhaps more of it that's visible. So, I don't know. It's really open interpretation. Um, all I say is the song itself is a good song. Um, I love the song. I, you know, I'm Adam's one of my guys. And, um, you know, I respect... I, I respect, again, I, I think one of the biggest things, like I always say, is I, I just respect when people have something to say. Now, this is important because he's saying something. He's saying something. He's speaking, right? He's speaking and he's voicing his view and his feels and his opinions and, and things like that. Now, it's, op it's, it's up to the rest of us in the world to be open to listening to what he's saying and not automatically, instantly jumping to conclusions or thinking the worst or thinking anything negative or not even giving someone an opportunity to express how they feel because people feel the way they feel for certain reasons. Most people have a reason why they feel how they feel. Most people don't just feel a certain way without having a reason. Now, if we come to the party and say, well, well let's take a moment to talk to him, find out why he feels the way he feels. Maybe it's just because small town pride, man, pride of where you're from. And to me, I think every one of us as Americans in particular, we have that. We have a, a, a pride of just being American in general. And a lot of us who are down from, you know, if you're from down south, if you're from the west coast, the east coast, you guys know. In, in our country, there's a lot of pride 
from where you're from. It, it's all throughout our whole nation. So there's that, you know, and maybe this is simply just, hey, look, we're proud of where we're from. If you don't like it, we don't care. This is how we roll. This is what we do. You know what I mean? Like each to their own. You know, so, you know, and I know, I know, I know. Look, hey, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not afraid to dress to the whole thing that some people, I know, I, hey, I'm, I'm not blind to what is going on in the video for those to be like, oh, because I know. I already know the mentality of the community. I, I know every, I know. There's topic matters. People be like, oh, they got the, the freaking, uh, you know, the Confederate flag, all this stuff and whatnot. And one person's wearing it from head to toe. And I know, I've seen it all. I watched the video. But to me, when I see that stuff, it doesn't mean the same thing that obviously it may mean to some other people who have an issue with it. Again, when I see that stuff, again, I, again, personally, me, myself, as you guys have heard me say many times this channel, do not take that as a sign of, oh, that person must be racist or they must not like black people. I do not take it that way. It is a very South thing. And if you've ever been to the South, you would know this. If you ever spent time with people who are from the South, hardcore South people, you would get it and you would understand it. You would not be thinking the way you're thinking, uh, in my opinion. Again, this is just an opinion. Just an opinion, okay? And you guys know, I tell you how it is. Every single time I do any of these songs, I tell you exactly my opinion and what I feel, my point of view, my perspective on the whole topic. So for me, I see people from down south, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's love of being from down south. His, you know, it kind of also, I would say, probably there would be maybe an aspect of even your town when you're doing this song, Small Town, is like, these days, maybe even your town feels like it's um, becoming smaller, you know, like you're the things that you used to, you know, when you're especially when you're a kid, you ever notice like everything feels that much bigger. And is old. And when you get older, everything feels like Wait, my town feels like it's shrinking up like my my community. Where did it go? You know what I mean? And I think there's nothing wrong with having a love for your community, a love from where you're from. You know, I think that's important. If you if you don't love your town and your roots and your culture and all that, you know, that's not good. You should you should be proud of your, uh, you know, heritage. And each of us have one. Each of us have a story. You know, each of us grew up in certain areas and things of the country. But through it all, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is through it all. Remember, at the end of the day, all of us are American. That's it. And uh, in America, we all should attempt to do our best to put ourselves in other people's shoes, understand each other, have the conversations, let people speak, let them make the songs the ver with the words, with the lyrics, with the with the everything that is a way of them expressing how they feel, and then let us listen and let us be open to that and let us all start dialogue and conversation that's how we become one that's how we eventually get to a point where everyone just wants to be completely doors open to everybody in the world do you know what i mean you know what i mean it's not just us in the states i'm talking about the whole planet you know what i'm saying anyways i better stop because people then if i go to the next next level of speaking on this I'll get accused of being political and all this kind of stuff. And then people be like, we, we, you don't have, like, I ain't trying to be, com com I ain't being political and I ain't taking sides. And I, ain't, you know, for me, I'm just a person who has watched a video and have given my opinion. It's a reaction. Therefore, this is how it made me react. It's my, my genuine thoughts. That's it. So wherever that takes me during the duration of the video, that's where I ended up. That's where I went. That's where it was. That's what happened. I have no regrets. That's all I'm saying. So I speak my truth. Hey, that's what Adam's basically saying in this song. It's his truth. Got to respect that. Anyways, I'm in this here. <laughs> 
as always, remember to live each moment to the fullest and to keep. Oh, and before I say and to keep it off tap and all that, I want to once more, in case you've never heard me for this is your first time on this channel and you've never heard me before. You never checked out my other reaction videos. You don't know. I will tell you why I feel the way I feel about the Confederate flag and all that kind of stuff. Because guess what? I have had in my lifetime tons of friends who had Confederate flags in their house, on their truck, <laughs> on their belt buckle. You know what I'm saying? I've had tons of friends who are freaking, who've rocked that flag and they were not racist. I'm talking firsthand that I understand. I get it because I've been around. I've seen it. I've experienced it. Okay. I know for a fact. You know what I'm saying? A flag does not automatically mean someone is a certain thing. We need to stop all the label stuff anyways. Am I right or am I right? No more labels. Let's just. Why can't we just be people period anyways out here doing the best we can to live our best lives and all that you know what i'm saying anyways i'm about to love i just want to explain that to anyone who's just first time so because why are you saying in me because i know I speak from fact okay and i'm not a sheep i don't just follow the freaking popular consensus just because everyone thinks it's popular to do so i make up my own mind i'm freaking capable of making up my own mind and i see what i see i know what i know i experience what i experience and i'm not going to just agree with some other persons who may say something else just because it seems to be the popular trend i don't agree period i'll be the first to admit and say it out loud okay because some of my best friends Yo, you know what I'm saying? In my lifetime, I know. Freaking, I remember this dude named John. Freaking John, freaking, if he wanted to, if he would be the first to tell you he was a redneck. <laughs> he was the first to tell you. <laughs> he he had the whole outfit with the whole flag. He had everything. He had gloves, dude. He had gloves with a little flag on it right here, dude. <laughs> it was like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, dude. He's, I trusted him. I knew he always had my back. He was my friend, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know people like that my entire life. Doesn't mean nothing. Freaking, I tell you one thing it means. You want me to tell you one stereotype it means? It means if you go over to his house, he's going to make you some mad freaking South food like his mamas can cook. And you're going to get some dope South, Southern hospitality, real Southern food with freaking some really dope cornbread and peas and string, like the whole nine. Like they're going to cook you up a storm. That's what it means, really. That's what it really means. You're going to have a good time at dinner. <laughs> you might find yourself having the time of your life. If you've never been down there, you don't know. You don't know. If you never, you just don't know, just, just stop. I'm stopping. <sighs> At the end of the day, we're all Americans, period. So if you love our country, you know, let's work together to be the best country we can be. You know what I'm saying? That's all. All right. I'm ending this. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. I love all of you. I love everybody. Every single person. I don't care. Okay. I love every, every, everybody. Jeez, hashtag spread love, not hate. I'm out.
gonna do a little mission right now. All right, this is just for you guys. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here! I'll catch you guys later for another vlog! <laughs>